But what attractions this way? Let's go find out. Well, the attraction that has the Hulk, of course, which is better known as Ripley's Believe It or Not. But the Hulk isn't the only attraction here at Ripley's and today we're gonna to explore all the oddities, wonders, and weird stuff that there has to offer here in the Newport location. However, I'm not here by myself. I have a couple of friends. In fact, they're already filming because they're super excited. In fact, this one right here, he's never been to a Ripley's before. It's his first time. Of course, anytime you visit Ripley's, you're in for a treat from the mild to the wild. They have a little bit of everything, including these outdoor displays. Homer Simpson here, he's actually made of toilet paper. And this other guy is an eye check. Can you see colors? Yeah, which colors do you see? That's what they're asking you. But then there's one more thing that I wanna show you guys before we even head toward the door. Believe it or not, Riley, a full grown person, is standing next to this giant tree cookie. But this tree cookie also has a few other things on here. You can see the height of some of the tallest things such as a brontosaurus all the way up to the Statue of Liberty. And it tells that this slice was actually a base from a giant sequoia tree that fell in the 50s. And along the way, they have documented all of the different things that could have happened in its lifespan. Now time and time again as we go to different places we say if the trees could talk, well in this case this one can. And it can tell us some crazy stories like for example here, King Arthur. What about up here? Julius Caesar dying all the way over to way over here in the 1950s whenever the tree fell. And along the way you can see American independence, Vikings, all sorts of stuff. It's weird, it's wild, it's Ripley. Okay, so here they have a two-way ticket, so that gets you into the Wax Museum and then also the Ripley's. So we're going to do that, and um, I'm going to be sharing the uh, journey in a very interesting way. Now, if the Wax Museum is big, you're going to see it as a separate video. If it's smaller, I'm going to put it into this video. We'll see either way. I just don't want to overwhelm you, and uh, this is about to be super fun. So moving inside, we did go ahead and decide to do the double ticket. That gets us into both of those attractions. It's $29.99. Here in Oregon, they don't have tax. That's kind of nice. So now we're going to be going into this door right over here to the Ripley's, believe it or not. And I am so excited. I've been to several of these. You can find them all on my channel. But um, there's somebody with us who has not been to a single one. So let's get their first impression thoughts. Ben, you've never been to a uh, Ripley's before. Never. Uh, I don't know if we have them in Australia. I think maybe we've had traveling road shows of them come to Australia but uh, not that I'm aware of actually having them here. So it's super exciting, especially ever since I've come to America, I've always wanted to go to one of these, so yes. And here's your first one in Oregon. First time, and also first time ever in a wax museum. Ooh. So uh, we'll get back to you on that one. Okay, Riley. Yes. Have you been to a Ripley's before? I, I think so. I went to the one in LA. I'm pretty sure that it's in LA. Yeah, I think I went to one. What did you think about it? I mean, it was pretty amazing. So yeah, I'm excited to be here again. Oh, oh, this way to the weird. Looks like the way we need to go is right through here with our tickets. Now the cool thing about Ripley's is each and every attraction is slightly different. No two are exactly the same. And a lot of times they do gear each one toward the location that you're visiting. So Newport should be showing up somewhere in this place today. 
Now, there's also a variety of different things that they introduce you to Mr. Ripley by doing. And right now, we just walked into Ripley's Travels where there's a giant map, a Ripley, and some other cool stuff. Now, in this gallery, we're asked to ask ourselves what we think about travel as a whole. Do you like to travel? Well, imagine going to over 200 countries but never flying to get there. And that is exactly what this man right here, Robert Ripley, did. In fact, there is a list of all the countries that he went to next to this massive map of where he found all of his unique discoveries of weird, wild, and crazy, and slightly unbelievable. Now, in all the things that we see around the Ripley's, those are going to be the things that he found in all these countries and managed to bring back to share with all of us. Now, at the time, what Robert Ripley was doing was wild. It was unheard of. No one was doing this. And so he found these oddities and strange people and unique places and very intricate things. And he made a huge collection. And that's what you get to visit every time you go to a Ripley's. So, with that said, Let's go check out some weird things. Here we are asked to push a button and listen to one of Robert Ripley's radios, and each one has a little bit of something different on it. Sounds like this one is his voice. Here on Mr. Ripley's desk, you can push one of these buttons and hear a little sound bite that goes along with each one of them. In addition, the Robert Ripley wax figure is right next to this and um, he'll actually talk to you a little bit. In this case you see some of the strangest mail that they've received. Everything from a traffic cone to a purple hula hoop, a painted uke. Uh, yeah, there's a little bit of everything in here. Something about this one looks a little off. I'm not sure what it is. Is it this guy over here? Uh, no, no. Riley, Riley, why are you on display? Why? Did you get collected? Don't get collected. As we walk into the first room, we have our first Ripley's, believe it or not, man. In fact, this guy right here, they ask you to think, is he a man or is he a sculpture? Right after that, you can see this little placard that tells a little bit more about this man. It says, legend says that after he was told he was dying with tuberculosis, he was made into this doll, an exact replica of himself. Wow, that, that's kind of crazy. And if you look at this, that is insane. Any takers, any takers, any takers? No, no. Somebody's somebody's breaking the wall. Ooh, ooh, Brock, you have never ever been to Ripley's. It is your turn to pull the jewel. You can see it back there. There it is. Pull the jewel. You just get the jewel out. There's a jewel. You can do it. I don't want to do it. You can do it. You're fine. Jump scare, jump scare. How do you feel about your first jump scare at Ripley's? Mm, there will be more, there will be more. Everybody has to have at least one jump scare anytime they come to Ripley's yeah, for the like first it. time. But let's go ahead and look at what's in this room. Ripley was actually known for all the things that he would collect. And much like the tribal masks that he had, he also had this collection of very interesting dolls. And um, he collected them from some really interesting places and so a lot of them have placards that tell you a little bit more about them now i'm not going to share every one obviously that ruins the fun of coming to a ripley's but i'm going to show you a few of them okay this is a weird strange but true that i'm actually super excited about exploring possibly it says scientists have developed a strain of seaweed that tastes like bacon what I don't like seaweed, so this could be good. I mean, could you imagine like bacon wrapped, faux bacon wrapped 
sushi oh my gosh that would be so good now we're moving into the unique items and here they have a few of the very unique styles and a couple of more of the Robert Ripley staples here in the museum This dress that we're looking at is completely and totally made out of stamps. Believe it or not, all of these postage stamps were used and constructed and created by one woman who wanted to do something kind of interesting. And she called this the mail order bride. All pretty in pink, we have the post-it dress. And this was actually designed by a person who lives in Michigan and was in the College of Fashion. She was designing this evening gown to do something different with an unconventional material. And then button, button, who's got the button? This guy has all of them if you're looking for a spare. This was actually made during the 1940s. It is completely covered in buttons. Now I'm pulling up a seat here at the bar at the uh, World of Adventure and this guy right here looks a little bit familiar. In fact, I've seen him at another Ripley's before. He really gets around, but this guy could actually dislocate his eyeballs out of socket. And, and, and do you see this? Let, let's get a little closer. Now this guy right here actually is from Cuba and this is a real man. He's called the Cuban Eye Popper. And right next to the Eye Popper, we have James Dean's chaps and these were actually used in the filming of the movie Giant. The look of amazement in Riley's face as she is learning about this particular person. Let's take a moment to sit next to Mr. Johnny Eck here. In fact, Mr. Johnny Eck is another staple of the Ripley's kind of people. In fact, you'll see him at almost every Ripley's that there is. He has a very unique situation. You might be seeing it now. And uh, it's kind of common to see this a little bit more so now, but at the time of Johnny Eck, he was making the most of his disability by doing a lot of interesting things. And that's why he made it into Ripley's. In fact, Mr. Eck was born in 1911 and he was born with only a torso. He should have had hips, but he did not. And because of that, he was extremely different. And he took this and turned it into something quite interesting. He became an honor student, an artist, a musician, and even was a band leader. And then he discovered his talent in swimming. This woman hiding behind this hand right here is actually known as the Mexican Vampire Woman. She has transformed her entire self by adding tattoos, fangs, and even horns. And despite the fact that she looks quite frightening here in the recreation, she actually is an attorney, believe it or not. Now along this wall you can find a few more of the interesting things on this screen and then also the story of the vampire woman right here behind. But this man right here is known as the three-legged man. He was born in Sicily in 1889 and he actually had three legs. More unconventional materials this time. Foam insulation. Here you find the foam insulation fashioned into a beautiful dress, and this was designed by a fashion student. One of the things I really love around is they have these Believe It or Not, these are from the original Ripley findings, and you can see the cartoonized versions of what would have been shared. And it's just so neat to see, and so it tells you a little bit more about each one of the areas, but just some fun facts also. Oh my. Is that, is that Brock? Is he standing next to a giant boot? Yeah, Brock is not short. In fact, Mr. Aussie Van Man is a tall man and yet he looks short compared to that boot. But, but wait. Oh, this is Mr. Wadlow next to Brock. So this was the tallest man and this is an average size man. And then there's Riley who looks so tiny. Riley, what is this? Well, I'm about a size seven and a half, and I don't even know. I barely fit on his heel. Wow. Okay, just for reference though, he is currently sitting. He's currently sitting, and look, look how tall he is even sitting. So this is the giant boot that Brock, Aussie Van Man, was just standing next to in comparison to my tiny seven and a half foot. Yeah. 
Believe it or not, this is a toast angel. Yeah, I said that correct, a toast angel. It is a depiction of Archangel Michael standing up, designed on toast. And right next to it are these super cool looking things that look like an eagle and some kind of crustacean, which totally fits the aesthetic here in Newport. However, believe it or not, these are actually caskets. Yeah, caskets. You can actually come here and watch the video and see a bunch of different unique caskets. Very, very interesting stuff. What did, what did you just find, Riley? So apparently, and I don't know when this was, but shooting Bigfoot or Sasquatch is apparently illegal in several Washington and Oregon counties. Wow, so if we see Bigfoot, what are we supposed to do? Stropped up and roll? Um, run? That's what I would do. Run? Run? Run. Yes, you're supposed to open it. You can do it. You can do it. Is that where you put the bodies? Oh, that's what that screaming was earlier. Ooh. Oh. 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 Did you find jump scare number two? You're the captain of the ship. You and the human unicorn. Okay, so as we move into this next gallery, this is the weird world of Ripley animals. And there's some strange ones in here, like a two-headed calf and then a skeleton of a two-headed calf. Those are pretty commonplace, but what is this cow balloon thing? This is bizarre. It's inflated taxidermy, and this is a cow's head that has been turned into a bouncing ball. What is this? Also, a sneaky snake at the top that we're just going to kind of keep moving over here. A few interesting things, such as a taxidermy taxidermy toad and a two-headed goldfinch and then also seven-legged lamb back there. When you look at things up close you never might expect them to turn into something like this. This is just a bunch of random buttons and just different little pieces that they have turned into this really interesting upcycled art of a tiger. It's a color wheel. I love color wheels. When you look at this, you might think, oh, Henry, yeah, cool. Maybe even, ooh, it looks kind of like foil, but is it? No, in fact, if you look at it from the right angle, you see that it is in fact a baseball player. Okay, this just makes me think, Aquaman, Zeus, Jason Momoa. It's way to more fun and it looks like we are a little behind. This is the infamous shell lady. In fact, this uses nothing but seashells and things found in the ocean. Hey guys, this was created in 1993 and it was actually to celebrate Vespa motor scooters and it was carved by hand. So this is impressive. This is super impressive. Now this wall is one that I always encourage you guys to try out because it doesn't translate as well on camera, but these are all optical illusions and interesting things that you are going to want to try. This right here is Jack Dempsey's Believe It or Not baseball uniform and it was worn by him for a charity baseball game to benefit the boys club in New York in 1939. It's only fitting that right beside it is actually a signed Charlie Sheen jersey. Wild thing. In this same section, we have a few other sports items, such as this, the Jesse Owens 1936 Olympic display. This talks a little bit more about Jesse Owens and his legacy, of course, beside it. And then we have the Mexico City 1968, the 2016 Rio, the 1988 Calgary Winter, and then also the Sochi 2014 and Salt Lake City 2002 torches. 
Now as we go to the next room and turn to the right, because to the left there is a sneaky snake, we see this massive alligator that is very different. Okay, Riley is trying one of the tasks here. She's trying to open the gate. Push it down. You can do it, you can do it. Okay, along this wall we have several different sea creatures that you might find out there. Some interesting ones. The puffer fish is always my favorite. And then we move into this unique world back here. Or if you're Riley, you move into this section so that you can try one of the other things. This is all about the piranha. In fact, here's another one that you can do the handle and as you do the handle, things happen. Into the tunnel he goes. Oh, and Riley's in there too. Ooh, what did you find? Oh gosh, but I'm too tall for this. What is it? I don't know. Oh, you just, just a bubble. Look, these are painted potato chips. Look at that, isn't that cool? Painted potato chips, these are epic. Oh, oh, Riley has found a pig of sorts. That is a very interesting pig. How did you make that do that? Well, there's an ear of corn here, and uh, you just do that. So naturally, you just, you just do that with an ear of corn. Okay, cool. We must push the button. Okay. In interesting materials, you might recognize Starry Nights, but believe it or not, when you get super close to this, it's actually constructed out of duct tape. And for all of my music lovers out there, believe it or not, this is M&M made of M&Ms. All of this candy went in to make a candy Taylor Swift. And believe it or not, this Bob Marley is actually made from an unrolled tape. Now this one says it's best viewed through a cell phone camera, so we're gonna see how it works out on this oh that is so cool because that doesn't look anything like that whenever you're looking at it from the front um it's only fitting that while we're in newport we also have a sea related issue and this guy right here is rodney fox rodney fox was in 1963 a spear fisherman who was violently attacked in australia by a great white shark And here you can actually learn a little bit more about him and his story right on this. It's not for the faint of heart, that's for sure. This is the Fiji mermaid. There's one at every single Ripley's. And so you'll always find one of these at Ripley's whenever you go around. Now along with some of the sadder facts about Titanic here, you can actually see this recreation of the Titanic. This is made completely out of matchsticks. It is immaculately done and very fascinating to see all of the decks and the levels and even the tiniest of holes. This is uh, the Titanic. Ooh, should we go in? We should. Let's go see. Oh, this is wild. This is super cool in here. And now we move into space, the final frontier. Although I don't think it's actually the final frontier here. In this display, we find a variety of different kinds of space suits and learn a little bit more about each one of them. Some of them look bulky, some of them look a bit more comfortable. Ooh, plasma globes. I love plasma globes. It says we can touch them with only one hand at a time and lightly. So, oh. Oh my goodness, we found the bunny. As, as weird as this one is, this has got to be one of the most unique bunnies that I found at a place. This is actually a hair taxidermied astronaut. What? Okay, Riley, what is this? You just challenged me to it. It is an astronaut glove challenge. Okay, yes. so. You have to turn all the lights green. So before you start, press the start button. That's what starts the timer. And then figure it out. Riley's floating away into space. Oh no. 
space. Okay, and now we're moving into some more fun. There is a shooting gallery. Oh my goodness. Let's see um, what else is in here. Well, in this room, Rocket and Little Groot are here. Oh my goodness. These are actually made from cigar ashes. You're playing Operation. You've touched the side. Now, why is Operation at Ripley's? Well, it's because this guy right here actually ate a whole bunch of weird stuff. And this entire wall talks about some of the other awkward things that people have eaten. Riley is now in the Ripley's vortex where secret things happen. Just there. In addition, there are all these super cool Oregon facts. I knew it would tie into Newport somewhere. In fact, on the outside, there are also Oregon facts. Lots of interesting ones like this one. In 1971, Oregon was the first state to ban the use of non-returnable bottles and cans. That's pretty awesome. And then over here, Crater Lake is close to 2,000 feet, which makes it the deepest lake in America. But according to this sign, this building itself actually pays homage to a location in Oregon called the Oregon Vortex. And it says right here it's located in Gold Hill, Oregon, and it's considered to be a house of mysteries. And it's one of the interesting, odd, strange, a little bit interesting and different kind of places to go here in Oregon. I knew there would be a tie. I knew it. Believe it or not, this is actually a crocheted bear. This is a thing called crochet dermy bear. So a uh, very unique way of creating animals. And if you look up close, it's wild how much work went into this guy. Ooh, right past the guy who's taking photos and into the infinity room. Woo! What's so special about the infinity room? Oh, you know, it just goes on and on forever and ever and ever and ever. Okay, a few more illusions here. Again, these are things that you're gonna have to come check out because they don't translate quite as well on camera, but super interesting ones. So typically, whenever you leave a Ripley's, you leave through a tunnel. Well, this is their tunnel. It's the infinity room. And, um, you know, you might just fall off the edge. Oh no! <laughs> But in reality, this has been a great trip here to Ripley's and definitely something that I have enjoyed. Now you have to catch up with the others to see what they thought of their first trip. Okay, now that we're back in the gift shop, Riley, what did you think about Ripley's Newport? It was awesome, but the end where it ended on like the infinity ring or like the kinds where it's like a weird optical illusion, those tend to give me a headache, so I didn't enjoy that part as much. You did skip that and went to the other part. Did you enjoy the other part at least? The other parts were pretty awesome. Sweet! Yeah. Now we just gotta go find Mr. Aussie Van Man. So what do you think he thought on his first trip? I think he loved it. I hope he did. We're gonna find out though. We're about to find out. In fact, he just came out. So first trip, what did you think? I thought it was totally awesome. It was amazing to see some of those things. What was your favorite part? Uh, favorite part... Oh man, there's so many. Uh, definitely the weird stuff like the uh, taxidermy animals and stuff. Of course it is. <laughs> the fun just keeps on going even in the gift shop and this is another one of the regulars here at Ripley that you're gonna have to come and check out. I have had a blast. I have definitely had a really good time introducing my friend to this new place and uh, I hope you've enjoyed coming along with us. Remember guys, we're not here for a long time but we are here for a good time and definitely Ripley's is that. Till next time guys, bye.